Hey, good looking. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. We are going to be going over in a get ready with me style the season opener and premiere of Nothing New 22. So today I'll just be doing a get ready with you style and going over what Nothing New 22 series is going to be about and then some of the types of episodes you can expect to see in, in, upcoming, uh, in upcoming videos. I was gifted some makeup by a company called Merit Beauty and they are a minimalist beauty company that very conscious of the environment and their products. So I grabbed a couple of things and I'll just kind of run through them. I'll talk to them and they'll be linked and listed down below. So you guys feel free to check them out or don't check them out. You don't have to. And it is not sponsored or anything like that. So you'll get my 110% honest opinion. <laughs> okay, here is uh, Dune. I'm just going to start with you know what? I thought I was going to use some concealer, but I don't really want to. I want to use this stuff as a concealer. So I have two shades here. Oh, I was pulling on the wrong thing. This is Bisque. And you can see I've already swatched them this morning. And then this is Dune. All right, so I think I'm going to mix both of them. This is a little too orange. This is probably about the right shade for me. Yeah. Oops. This is just a little bit too light, but I think this one's a little too yellow. All right, so. All right, I filmed this yesterday, and I hail married it. <laughs> wouldn't you know I like just was like I'm not buying anything new I can't afford it I was like whoa that was really harsh Kendra maybe you should you know slow your roll a little <laughs> so I'm using the dune shade as a highlighter and then I'm using the other shade as <clears throat> just my like regular foundation and I'm using quite a bit all right so <clears throat> nothing new 22 is a series I'm starting on my channel it's a hashtag that's used on Instagram and it basically states I'm not going to be introducing anything new into my beauty uh, space for the year 2022 and Everybody's reasoning can be different, but the the outcome is all the same. Is that we're not going to buy a lot of makeup this year. And different than a low buy, where a low buy is I just need to monitor my purchases better. Nothing new 22 is more of a for me it's more like a conscious monetary effort you just don't want to spend the money on that and so I'm really going to be driving home the nothing new as far as cosmetics goes for my channel because we just don't really have the money I tallied up how much I spent last year and it was quite a bit more than I wanted to spend but it was also um, this is looking a little streaky Oh, was I out of focus this whole time? And I forgot to change my shirt. Nice, Kendra, nice. I'm still sick, that's why I haven't been featuring as many videos. Plus, I wanted to make sure that I got out this next video for you before I did anything else. So, nothing new. Let's define some parameters here. I'm not spending money on single eyeshadows. I'm not spending money on any more makeup brushes this year. Everything that I purchased for 2022 
was purchased at the end of 2021 and most of it was a Black Friday type of special as to make sure that everything that I planned was already budgeted and spent. And that kind of aligns with um, my family is taking a different career path this year. And so we just don't have the extra funds that we did previously. And it will be about a year that we'll need to offset this and then things will, I want to say return to normal, but not normal in the sense of I will pick up right where I left off. It'll be normal in the sense I will have reevaluated a lot of what was going on when I purchased. I was finding, you know, not only is the money driving a lot of this, but I was spending so much time actively it was like a recreation for me. It was like a hobby to shop online or to shop in stores and purchase things at a discounted price. And you can really get caught up in those moments where you buy things or you get caught up with the idea. <clears throat> I'm going to add some more. It's looking scrap or um, oh my gosh, the whole thing just fell out. So this is it. This is everything right here. This is my whole life this is all you get do I need to melt this you think I feel like I do there it is and I ripped it right off this is all you get <laughs> I just broke it right off <laughs> um so this is gonna be like a no for me dog <laughs> you know I remember telling my friend uh, over Christmas break how much I had spent and she was like oh I would have thought it would have been way more than that I spend way more than that um, she d she runs a little bit of a different channel so she has a little bit of a different you know budget her budget looks a lot different than mine I would say that the amount of money I spent was actually quite res quite conservative considering some people's budgets and some people how much they end up spending however I will say this I wasn't really thinking that I spent quite that much I thought I had spent you know a decent amount but I was about a thousand dollars off of how much I thought I had spent which you know well when you're already talking in the thousands what's an extra thousand right all right, so that's like looking uh, semi-patchy, but it looks really dewy on my face and I have oily skin, so I'm okay with that. Next, I want to use this brow. This is honestly the reason that I got this stuff is because I really wanted a brow gel for my face. I've never used one before in my life, and I just kind of want to use one. I have nothing to compare this to, but I think it looks really nice and it does the job it combs through my brows and it adds a little bit of extra zhuzh, volume a little extra color i don't really need too much color i more or less need i need just the combing of it so anyways there's the brow gel and i got brown or black or yeah i got brown it's really nice didn't have anything to say about it i also am using their brush here too so um the brush is nice this is kind of I have used cream products in the past and they always end up kind of looking like this on me. They don't wear well on my face because I have oily skin. They generally won't wear. So I'm curious to see if this is going to wear any better. I would think it wouldn't. Um, so back to the Nothing New 22. I was spending more money and I was also spending more time. More, Probably more importantly, I was spending so much time. And I wasn't valuing and honoring my time because I would spend all this time and effort to find a deal if I found a product that I really liked and wanted in my collection. It's like I said before, I have a certain value <clears throat> I think something is. I have a perceived value of how much I think something is. And when I can find a coupon or discount code or whatever for that value, I generally like to jump on it and then purchase the item but it's always this perceived value and it, it, it's pretty ambiguous and it's usually just an arbitrary value that I'm like, oh, I think 
this is how much I should pay for this Mercury Retrograde palette. I think I should pay half price for it. I don't think it's worth $67. And then once I find it for that deal, then I buy it. So that's kind of why <clears throat> I never really spent as much as people. This smells like crayon wax. I don't know. I don't know about this. And I already look a little glossy, like a, a little wet. I don't know if I'd want any more. So what I'm trying to kind of circle back around to is that I wasn't valuing my time and my money. And time is money. And if I'm sitting around all day long trying to find 20% off, that took time. And that time took away from my family. Now that I didn't, that's kind of a worst case scenario and I never did that kind of stuff. But there would be times where in the evening for, you know, just some leisure time, I would shop online and look around for products that I was truly interested in. Is this, I'm like sweating profusely. Hmm. I'm not really like digging this. Anyway, I was spending a lot of time and efforts into something that I really feel like didn't really need to be spent on that and so a chance 20 nothing new 2022 is a chance for me to reset that to not focus on constantly bringing in new that anticipation of purchasing and all that stuff i put a tiktok series out and then i sped it all up so it would make into some youtube shorts so you can check those out i have a short shelf and you can go and you know watch them but i would implore you to go to my tiktok because my tiktok i was able to um just talk up my normal rate but with my sh youtube shorts to get a lot of them under a minute i just sped up the time so it's really annoying to listen to but nonetheless you could stay on this platform and listen to them from there or you can go to my tiktok and check that out but back to what i was saying i i just was you know not really honoring my time and not valuing all of what was important to me i was you know trying to make these really important business decisions you know like yeah i found a lot of things on sale but here's the here's the issue with that what does it matter if you found it on sale if it spent you two hours to get 20 percent off that's literally you know not saved you that much money at all. I really kind of noticed it during Black Friday because we were so, 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 so inundated with all of the sales and everybody was really hammering down on the, you know, 30, 40, 50%. And it really just became this huge game. Uh, Burt's Bees Mattifying Powder. I'm gonna go ahead and lay it over this. This is really looking dewy, but... It's going to be uh, really oily looking here in a little while if I don't do something. And I'm just doing it right under the, you know, right in the T-zone. I think that um, also I do want to talk about some of the parameters. One thing that's going to be excluded is sunscreen. And that is because sunscreen is a necessity. It's it's a it's basically a medical necessity i'm not limiting that i never want to make myself feel like oh i'm almost running out and i would have to break this no buy or this you know nothing new 22 just to buy some more so uh i'm not going to be limiting that also with that being said i have a different account that i buy my sunscreens under so it really doesn't apply to the nothing new 22 I know I do review sunscreens on my channel here, but I just also want to state that's not going to fall under this category. I do already have most of my sunscreens purchased from last year because I ran out of my uh, time for my season for the sunscreens. So I don't think I'm going to have any problems. You know, it's not like I over purchase on sunscreens or anything like that. And I'm not saying that I over or under purchased for my channel or anything like that. What I'm saying is I was taking a lot of time away from my family to purchase, to spend money on and all these other things. And I don't want to do it anymore. And so this year is going to be that year of reset. And I want to also now go over some of the stuff that I'm planning on putting on my channel for my Nothing New 22. 
um, I don't really feature a lot of like, here's what I bought, you know, from this sale. I don't really feature a whole lot of it. So it's not like my channel really needs to change all that much. And I just want to add to the conversation I never want to take away. This is my Soul Bronzer by ColourPop. Soul, whatever the brand is. Yeah, it's Soul. And I use the shade Light. I think it looks really good on me, but some people don't really care for how orange it looks. I think it looks really good on me. I'm gonna keep using it. <clears throat> this is actually looking pretty nice, I have to say. Um, I, I like, I like the makeup so far. It's really not how it looks when you put it on though. It's really how it wears throughout the day. And this usually, these types of um, stick, oh, there it went again. Oh, but this time it didn't break. We're good. It didn't break off this time. Boy, that kind of irritates me. <laughs> it's like a two inch stick and it broke off. Um, so yeah, I think that taking that time to reset will really be it. I was finding myself really anxious really not focused on getting things for my channel done that I wanted to do because <clears throat> I was so busy shopping. And I hate to say that, but it was like, it really was like a hobby for me. It was like a pastime and it was kind of nice when, you know, I would find something and find something on sale and then I would want to purchase it. I'm gonna use this Beverly Hills blusher. It looks a lot like the Milk Makeup Work. It looks a lot like it. And it doesn't have as much pigment, I will say that. Okay, so let me go ahead and swatch this for you on the back of my hand. It's not very pigmented. So if you like a really, for lack of a better word, minimalist <laughs> makeup application, you might consider this. But I would use the Milk Makeup in the shade Work. It works, it, it seems to see how that just basically disappeared. There's just almost a light wash of color and that's it. I'm using my makeup geek brush here. So I always wanna add to the conversation and I never wanna take away. So some of the stuff that I will be adding to my <coughs> channel this year is that I want to start a partners in cream project and kind of document that and just have fun with it. Um, I've been wanting to do this. I don't wanna do a project pan because when I show you guys pictures of my shadows and stuff like that, in fact, I have panned a couple of them, like this one I'm about ready to pan. And I just repress it so that you guys only see the shadow in its entirety. That's how I want it. That's how I, I don't want to show you guys a pan in the middle. I feel like it's distracting. So for me, project pans aren't really um, a goal of mine, but a partner in cream would be. I would definitely be interested in a partner in cream project. And so I think I'm gonna start one of those. Uh, Adore Me by Sydney Grace. I'm gonna feature that. I'm gonna use that. This is the palette that I put together for my rose quartz. I have substituted out two shades here though. I think it looks really good on camera in person. I'm not 100% sold on it. I'm just not. I'm just, uh, I'm not there, not there. I'm not a cream foundation person because I'm so oily. I wouldn't say it looks horrible. It is a little streaky in this area. If you guys didn't notice, it's pretty streaky. So this pink looks. So I want to feature a pe uh, partner in cream and it's by Steph Lyons and another person here on YouTube. They started this and so I'll feature a video soon uh, and then put in my few products. I'm only going to use like three products and they're products that I already use <laughs> on a daily basis anyway. So I'm going to kind of pad this so that I, it's easy for me and feature those. I also, in addition to that, want to show you guys some capsule projects. And I figure a lot of people do those shop with me, shop my stash and everything, which I kind of want to do as well. But I also want to do a capsule for makeup brushes and start rotating through some of my makeup brushes. And what I mean by that is, you know, 
During the winter months, I use more synthetic brushes because I'm using more cream products. I don't have to use as much powder. But then in the spring and summer, I generally tend to go back to my natural bristle brushes. But a lot of times what ends up happening is that I just end up kind of using whatever's in front of me, whether it is natural or synthetic. And I want to start featuring a shop with me or build your own brush capsule. And so I'll probably just once a month maybe go ahead and feature a brush video which brushes I'm going to be using based off of my shop, my stash capsule collection. So a capsule collection is kind of the makeup that you use on a daily basis. Like for example, my build your own palette that I've been using for the last month is nice, but I can change that out and it really refreshes my makeup. But my capsule would be something like I use this every day. I don't really deviate too much from it unless I'm using maybe a powder. So that would be some, an example of me using and kind of, you know, featuring and taking you guys along with me on a project. And that's what I want to start incorporating. I'm still going to do my uh, monthly collab with uh, Beauty and the Frizz, Kara and Kelly Rettenberger, where we will put together palettes. I'm thinking that mine are going to be more, just more user friendly. I know in the past I have featured some crazy colors, like for the Halloween, oh, I went like crazy. I don't know why. I know I featured some really crazy colors in the past and things like that. And so a lot of times I did it for the wow factor and to showcase some of the the collections that I don't normally get to on my channel because mainstream doesn't really put out those types of shadows. So like a lot of my Davina shades were featured, but I think overall, as far as use goes, I might feature one or two of those really, really like hybrid collective, like super shiny or multi chromey and you know, goodness. And then I'll have some more staple collection pieces in there. And that will be a build your own palette that I can use throughout the month and really actually use it instead of like, oh, I put this together because I think it looks pretty. I used it once or twice, but it's really not a palette that I am going to continue to use. In that regards, that might change. Uh, yesterday, I used Centura by Davina. Today, hmm, I kind of want to use this shade right here. It's also a Sydney Grace. Ooh, just about put my fingers through it. Just about put my fingers through it. Immortal by Sydney Grace. I think I want to use that. I'm using this Shikoto brush and just tapping it into my eyelid, the mobile lid more or less. I just want a sheer color and then we're going to put a duo chrome over the top. So that's what I'm, that's what I'm going to do. I'm, uh, for all intents and purposes, I probably could have done this without ever saying anything to any of you, but I want you all to feel included. And I also want any of you who might also be in the same situation that I'm in to feel like you have a community and a space here with me to um, talk about that. That was kind of the background to duping the vibes videos. I'm still going to be doing those primarily. That's my bread and butter. It's one of my favorite things to do. And I'm going to continue to build on that and get better as I... Um, you know, as I learn more about photography and videography and cinematography, I'm going to get better about it. This is Puppy, Sydney Grace, and I'm just going to pop a little of that in the outer corner. So yeah, that's where, that's where my channel's going. And I don't think you guys will see too much difference. I'm not going to be doing as many brush reviews, and I probably won't do as many sunscreen reviews. <clears throat> It'll be a shorter season. And it'll just be what I have here. Now, I don't really want to go, it's basically gonna be your my year of nothing new. So I'm not buying anything, so it's a no buy. Um, long story short, it is a no buy. However, <clears throat> I don't wanna put any restrictions, like, well, I can buy this if I don't buy that, or blah, 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 blah. Simply put, we just don't, if it's going to take money away from my family, I'm not going to spend it as far as makeup. I'm not going to limit myself in the realm of family entertainment or, you know, like when we go camping, I'm not going to go camping because, oh, that costs money and I'm not going to spend money. 
That's not what that's about. This is pure and simple. I have spent too much money in regards to, which you've already seen the video probably, and if you haven't, I'll go ahead and link it for you guys up here. What I got for Christmas and what I spent a lot of money on. And um, I just don't wanna continue down that path. I wanna take a step back and start appreciating what I've got. So, and, and basically the way to do that is to stop buying. You have to stop buying so much. All right, this shadow right here, I think I'm gonna use that to deepen up just a little bit more. I took away the deepening shades, so I don't have them as much. But yeah, that is it in a nutshell. Um, it's not a low buy, it's a no buy. And it's gonna be the hashtag nothing new in 22, nothing new 22. And I will feature updates of, you know, like if I broke it, I broke it, you know, um, and I'll be honest and I'll come clean, but I don't see that being a problem. I started it December 8th. That was the last time I purchased. And the last thing that I purchased was the Pat McGrath uh, Midnight Sun palette. So that was the last thing that I purchased. I have not had any, you know, inkling. I have done a couple shopping, online sh window shopping sprees, and I've caught myself and I was like, okay, you're spending time, you're taking away time from your family. Because whether my kids are around or not, I am still taking away time that I could be, you know, spending getting chores done so that when my kids are around, I don't have to, you know, I don't have to take away time from them. I can play with them, you know, do puzzles and games because I got my work done, you know. And it's easy to get off track and stay off track with shopping, you know, window shopping online. <clears throat> Taking this healthy, Essence of Healthy by Physician's Formula, wetting my brush, dipping into Gingerbread right here by Luxie Beauty. And Luxie Beauty, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. This is really pretty chunky, actually. Oh, this is tacky. It's not setting down even with the powder, so I'm not sure I'm liking that a whole bunch. This is very soft, almost ethereal looking. Yeah, so I do want to feature some a partner in Cream Project, and I'm going to be putting in about three, three projects. It'll be in an upcoming video, and I hope you guys can talk to me about your, you know, project creams or your pan. If you're a project panner, obviously by all means tell me about it tell me how it's going it just doesn't suit my needs as far as for you guys I want you guys to be able to see the shadows in the pan without any pans showing that's what I'm trying to say but I think I admire project panners I have a lot of them on Instagram that I'm you know follow and I watch a lot of project panners I just don't I just don't think it suits my needs or my channel's needs so I don't really have any reason to like finish off a an eyeshadow, you know, that I might need to feature in a dupe video. I, I don't really have any need to do that. But if you do, then by all means, do it, do so. And you can always share with me that stuff because I think it's great. I think it's marvelous. There we go, that is it. <clears throat> Another, so I ran out of Partner in Cream right here, first one. <laughs> Actually, this started when I basically I panned this RMS Beauty and I'm almost done with it. I just have a little bit more of this highlighting shade. This right here, I mean, I could really like scrape in there, but I don't really feel the need to. Um, so all I have is just a little bit of this cream left. And sometimes if I can get in there and yeah, now that I got nails, I, I'll mix it with like a little bit of that peachy pink color. And I'm going to tap in a little bit. I think as far as this highlighter in relation to the Merit highlighter that I just used. Um, boy, I can't get over the smell. It's like crayon wax, but not in a good way. Like the cheap Rose Art crayon wax, not the Crayola ones. 
Oh yeah, no, no, no. I don't think you would like it. Skip on that merit uh, bl highlight balm. I might pass that along to somebody because I just don't see myself using it. So anyways, I have the Makeup Geek Creamsicle Delight Lip Balm, Gloss, whatever you want to call it. Let me go ahead and give you guys a swatch on the back of my hand with what little bit I have left. I'm going to get you a swatch. Then I'll show you the Merit one I picked up. Okay. This is, this is as good as, this is not that juicy. It is the neutralist neutral that leans ever so slightly warm, but I really feel like it looks good and healthy on the lips, especially with my color of lips. Then I, I picked up, I chose this one, and this is On Naturel by Merit. And it is a lip oil, but it feels fairly, fairly similar to the Makeup Geek one, maybe not quite as thick. And you can see it's, it's just a little bit more orange. Let me show you what it looks like. All right. To me, It looks like I just got done eating a slice of pizza and there's pizza grease all over my lips because there's too much orange in it for my lip color because my natural lip color is poking through like right in there and it just doesn't it, it looks too like uh, yeah it looks like I just got done eating a slice of pizza and the grease is left on my lips you know that saucy greasy that's what it is so this is all natural and the lip oil itself does feel nice it feels comfortable there's no grittiness in it so the pigment must be pretty you know pretty fine but if i had to choose i would definitely choose the makeup geek one i would not choose the merit the merit is 24 dollars. you get seven mils this i think is four it doesn't say i have may it might have been five or six mils I mean, when you strip away the components, these are going to be fairly similar in size. And I, so, I mean, you might be looking at a mil difference and this is only $4.99. And you can also save an additional 10% off if you use my code, Kendra Morgan Official, on Makeup Geek's website. But nonetheless, it was okay. All right, I think that's it, everyone. I am going to put some mascara on and call it a day but I wanted to check in with you and get your feels on what it means to go a year without buying any makeup products so that's what we're doing and I'm excited to start this journey if you are on a low buy or a no buy share your tips and tricks down below to help us all get through uh, mine's going to be heavily driven by the fact that, you know, our family is taking a different career path and we just don't have the money anymore, the extra money to spend on, you know, cosmetics or, or things of that nature. So we're just not going to. But yeah, share down below, comment down below your low buy or no buy rules and I'd love to hear them. And I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. Bye.